Well, um, uh, obviously really excited uh, about our, our team's performance today. I, I thought overall that was one of our best defensive efforts we've had all year long. Um, and, and again, I, I thought our kids really took to heart, you know, those last ACC games and learned from it and changed some things in how they prepare and, and really took ownership of our team. And, and you could see the results is that there was a, a intentionality about what they were doing, uh, how hard they were playing on the defensive end. And, you know, we talked all week on just, you have to do more in, in the ACC, what the level you got to do more. And, you know, and some of that is all the stuff away from the ball. We still think we have to do it with the ball and you now it's screening, creating catches. And, um, and, you know, and I think that is the thing that we're learning. And, um, but a huge win, uh, I'm really excited for our team and uh, enjoy this one and then now get focused in on the next one. But I thought the biggest stat of all was the 12 assists and 12 turnovers. Uh, it's the fewest turnovers we've had in a long time and you know, just to value the basketball and uh, I thought they were really locked into being able to, if we can get shots up, we can go rebound and we'll have a chance to make enough plays. It's whenever we give other teams those easy points that hurt us. Bye. Sorry, I was just, right, no was just kind of a perfect example of that, of doing the little things because, yeah. you know, looking at it, they, they did shoot a higher percentage than you. They did yeah. out-rebound you, but, this, but yeah. like still the little things kind of broke your way. Yeah. You know no, it, you know, and again, it's the turnovers, you know, and that uh, you take a look at those other games and, you know, and you can't turn it over that many times and give them that many extra possessions. But, you know, you look at the shots and I can't see very well, 68 to 57. Yeah. We can win whenever we have that many more shots than the other team. Then we're doing what we need to on the glass and um, uh, and then dominating those areas. What was the key to uh, trying to slow down Spear? I know she still <laughs> got her points, but yeah. she had six of those turnovers. You know? Yeah, no, and, you know, I thought during the second quarter and third quarter, we shut her down for a long time, you know, and just, uh, you know, and we were, we've got the ability to, we're a versatile team. And uh, I thought no matter, we gave her so many different looks and, you know, and length and then quickness and whenever day guards are so different than whenever uh, AB or Ty guards. And, you know, and so I think some of that confused her and, and we're athletic enough to stay with her. But for a long time, I, I didn't think she was a factor. And, and that's a credit to our defense and, you know, and just really, um, I thought our kids were locked in on the game plan and were able to execute that game plan. Uh, Day and Amber, it uh, must feel good for you guys to finally get to win the ACC. What do you think you guys did really well today to get this win th today? I, I thought our biggest thing was defense today. I think we really clamped down and locked in on defense, and that wins games. I agree with that, uh, preparation and defense. I think really buying into practice. These two practices we had leading up to, I mean, we had one day of practice. <laughs> just buying into it. We knew what we had. We faced them, and I think we really took ownership of like playing defense. Yeah, I know three point shooting has been a huge part of your game this oh, yeah. season. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what what did some change tonight, or or is it this kind of thing where like you approach it where you hit one, you know, get us keep shooting it, and it just went into that. Um, I spent a lot of time working on it, so uh, and I just started shooting them. Like I've been working for a long time, so uh, it's finally starting to pay off. I need both of them though, so you only can make threes. No, <laughs> 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 I need a little of both of them. So <laughs> I want it all. <laughs> um, coach, you've, you're three and one against Wake Forest. Clearly, the best team you play against in the ACC so far in your tenure. Do you have some sort of key against them to beat them <laughs> consistently, or just you just you got your players going the way you want and it's them to still, go. still, last year's loss was probably the most gut-wrenching one of my career, <laughs> you know, here at uh, Pitt, and just to be up and not be able to finish that game. But, um, again, the ACC is the best conference in the country, and uh, that's why I'm here is that I want to compete against the best. And, and I'm so ready for this group to be able to understand all the things that it takes to be the best in this conference. And we're growing, we're learning, and, um, and it's painful at times, but uh, it, it is. It's every night you get to face one of the best teams, the best players uh, in the country, and, and that's the, what we do this for, is to see that and go. And now we get Virginia Tech next, and um, now we just got to prepare and get ready to go for the next one. Amber mentioned the one-day prep. I don't know what. When a team's struggling, like yeah. you guys have been recently, like does that almost help sometimes to yeah. just say, you know what, 
Like, let's not think about Wake Forest too much. We're like, let's just go out and do what, what we need to do, you know what I'm saying? And again, so much of it is is still us. It's, you know, it's about what we're doing and uh, it is. And, you know, you look at that, you have Georgia Tech, then one day, then Boston College, then uh, we had to take a day off and then you come one day and now play the next. And, you know, and it is, it doesn't linger. You know, is that you can't spend too much time worried about the last thing you got to focus on the next game and, and and it's how we get mentally prepared to do it and you know that's what we said when once you lose it breaks your confidence and you know getting that confidence back and this is a game of confidence <laughs> you know and every bit of it is now can you uh multiply that in this next game and stay with that of that feeling and now replicate it i was gonna ask about about rita it felt like there was a stretch there where she was huge and I was kind of surprised when I looked at the box score that she didn't have more rebounds, but yeah. I, I guess some of those were like blocks or forced turnovers or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Can you just kind of speak to the impact she had? Yeah, on no. Her? And again, it's in 16 minutes, you know, yeah. and that she didn't play the whole second quarter. And, you know, and just those, you know, in the last two games, she hasn't played in the second quarter. And, you know, and that she changes so much of what we do with her size and athletic ability. And, and we need her on the floor for longer, but because she does, she changes the game defensively, all those that – or tips that she can go up and, and, and change either defensively or grab a rebound that others can't. And, you know, and, um, uh, and, and that's what we need her on the floor. And we need her on the floor for longer minutes. And we just got to keep her out of foul trouble to do it. Anything else, guys? No, I'm good. All right.